Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in 3ds Max for beginners. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to discuss with you railing that is AEC extended objects in 3ds Max and the last video tutorial I discussed with you foliage so you can refer that tutorial. So today I am going to start with railing so I am going to select this railing you can see there is some settings in railing that is pick railing path is the first one and there is a top rail setting so in the top rail you can see there is profile depth width and height in the lower rail also there is profile depth width and there is a pick buttons here so we'll see and there is post and fencing so now i am going to draw my railing here so now if i am going to start from this end and if i am going to another end and without leaving your mouse click first you are required to drag to it's required a length and then i will leave my mouse click and then you are required to move upwards so you can see this is the railing here so this is the railing profile and now this is the top rail setting here and length is given here so if you want to increase the length you can do it this end so i am going to make it 3000 i want to make it 10 feet so i am going to make it 3000 and i will enter so this is the 3010 foot railing here and uh, there is a top rail so profile is square if you want to make it round you can select around from this list and you can see this is around here so now I am going to my depth so you can make depth to 25 mm so you can see this is the depth of the railing and width also I am going to make 25 so you can see this is the width and now it comes to height of the railing which is very less so we will make it to a standard size so I am going to take 900 mm so this is our railing height. So uh, this is the setting of top rail so I am going to lower rail and you can see profile is square so you can make it round if you want so this profile will be round and now depth again I am going to make it uh, suppose I am going to make it 19 mm and width also I am going to make it 19 so this is the profile of lower rail. So this is only single profile so if you want to make more so i'm going to click this on three buttons lower rail spacing so we'll click this and now you can see there is a count here which is checked by default and there is a spacing start offset and end offset so i will bring here and now i'm going to increase the counting so i'm going to make it two so there are two railings if you'll make it three it will be three running here and now there is a spacing so a spacing is 218 mm so if i am going to give two uh, railing only here count so i am going to check this box so this is locked here So if you are going to start offset, divide evenly, no objects at end. So this is evenly divided. So if you want free center, you can change this spacing here. So I am going to make it 300 spacing. So you can see this is a 300 mm. And this is the start offset. So this is the start offset is 219 mm. So I am going to make it 400. So you can see this is 400 from start offset and if you want to end offset also you are required to uncheck this and then you are required to make this end offset and you can enter value 400 so i'm going to make it uh, 100 center will select and we'll make 
ticket 150. So we'll close and after this you can see this is the context edge. So if you want at center you can select center and if you want to follow you can select follow and type objects is instance or reference you can select so you can select in instance and you can close this. So this is the setting of lower rail and after this you can see there is a post and if you click this profile is a square and I am going to make it round so you can see this is the profile of post and depth is I am going to make it 25 so you can see this is post and I am again going to make it 25 and extension it is 0 so it will extend beyond so I am, if I am going to make it 50 here See this is extended 50 mm above this top rail and if you we'll go and make it zero again it will be below this top rail and now we will again pick this three dot line here and there is same number of pounds so if you want more I'm going to make it three so if there is a three post here and you can do the same settings here and there is a context here so i'm going to make it instance here and now we'll go to fencing here and fencing is there is solid fill so you are required to give thickness so i'm going to use this fencing and type is picket and now I am going to select solid fill so this is solid fill here and solid fill thickness is given 20.25 and top offset is 0 so I am going to give top offset as uh, 100 mm I will take 100 Enter. so this is the top offset and bottom offset I am going to give 150 so this is bottom offset and left offset I am going to give 1 fit so you can see this is and right offset also I am going to give so this is the solid fill so this likewise you can do this setting and you can do this pickets here. If you select pickets, you can edit these three buttons, and if you select solid fill, you cannot edit this three top button. So, likewise, you can make basic shapes of railing. So, if you come down here and go, you can see this list here pick railing path. So, now I'm going to my line command here and I'm going to draw any shape here so I will select line and I will select a smooth here and I will draw a line I will press shift and I will draw this kind of line here I will escape here. So this is the line command here. And now I'm going to my railing here. And now I'm going to select pick railing path. So I'm going to select this line. And you can see this is the profile which we have created. And now I will increase the segment here because so this is not in good shape so you can increase the segment you can see this is taken the shape of this line and again you can go to setting of fencing here and you can increase here so I am going to make it this top offset one fit and see and bottom also and left offset I am going to give 
to fit. Likewise, you can do this setting. And again, I'm going to make it to fit that is 600 mm. Likewise, you can do this setting. You can see this shape of this stair. And you can also change the profile of this stair. So I am going to select lower rail here. And I am going to select fencing as pickets. So you can give pickets here. And you can give it wrong pickets if you want. And left also I am going to make 25 here. So this is just to make you understand. And now we can increase the count here. So as many pickets you want. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You can do it from this button here you can display. so likewise you can create some interesting shapes shapes of railing so this was the tutorial for the today's session in the next session i'll come with some more interesting topics in today's match so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe bye bye